Okay, example two, we want to differentiate f of x, which is equal to the secant of x divided by 1 plus tangent of x. For what values of x does the graph of f have a horizontal tangent? So before we do anything, always keep the derivative of trigonometric functions sort of handy. You know, the, the more that you remember them, the better. Um, since this is a quotient, we're going to use the quotient rule. So if you recall, the quotient rule tells us that if we take the low times the derivative of the high, so low d high minus high d low over low squared. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and find a derivative of this function. So we have the first step, which is we want to find f prime of x. Okay, so the low is 1 plus tangent of x times the derivative of the high or the numerator which is secant x and then minus we're going to take high which is the secant of x and then multiply it by the derivative with respect to x of the low which is 1 plus tangent of x and then we're going to divide this entire thing by the low squared, which is 1 plus tangent of x squared. Okay, so now what we want to do in step two is now let's take this derivative. So we have 1 plus the tangent of x. Okay, so what do we know about the derivative with respect to x of the secant of x? Well, if we look here, the derivative with respect to x of secant x is equal to secant x times the tangent of x. So this is times the secant of x times the tangent of x. And then minus, we have the secant of x times the derivative, let me write that again, times the derivative with respect to x of 1 plus the tangent of x. So what's the derivative of 1, a constant? That is 0. So we know that that's going to give us 0. And then what is the derivative of the tangent of x? Well, we can see here that the derivative of the tangent of x is equal to the secant squared x. So this is times secant squared x. And then divide that by 1 plus the tangent x squared. Okay, so now in step number 3, let's go ahead and then distribute. So we have f prime of x, and we're going to distribute this to those two terms. So we have the secant x tangent of x plus the secant of x times the tangent squared x. And then we can either multiply this together or we can leave this as the secant of x times the secant squared x divided by 1 plus tangent x squared. Okay, so in our numerator we can see that we have a common factor and the common factor is secant x. So we're going to factor that out. So let's go ahead and factor that out, and we end up having secant x, and what's left is the tangent of x plus tangent squared x minus secant squared x divided by 1 plus tangent x squared. 
Okay, so now in here, you want to be able to then simplify some of the trig identities. Okay, so I want you to focus on this part here, and hopefully this brings back some of your memory here. And so what that is, is going back to, um, you know, a trig cheat sheet, um, just so that you're, you know, you're aware of those identities. So make sure you go back and look at the modules with that. So here we have our Pythagorean identities. So if you take a look at this, this resembles something here, right? So let's go ahead and simplify that a little further. So if we wanted to rewrite this, this is the same thing as the tangent squared theta. If we subtract secant to the left side squared theta, and then if we subtract the one that's on this side. So therefore, if this was tangent squared x minus secant squared x, then what would it equal? What's well, going to equal negative one? So therefore, in step number five, we can simplify this a little more. So we can then say that the derivative is equal to secant x times the tangent of x and we know that's going to equal minus 1 all over 1 plus the tangent x squared. Okay, so now that we found the derivative, now what we want to do is we want to find out for what values of x does the graph of f have a horizontal tangent. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph this function on Desmos. So we're going to go ahead and put in this function. We have the secant x, and we're going to divide that by 1 plus the tangent of x. Okay, so here's our graph. Okay, so if you take a look here, at this point here, that point tells us where it's going to be tangent. So the x value is pi over 4, the y value is 0 0.707. And then down here, we can see that we have the values of negative 3 pi over 4, negative 0 0.707, 5 pi over 4, negative 0 0.707. So let's go ahead and put in those horizontal tangents. So that y is equal to 0 0.707, okay? And then we're going to have y, which is equal to negative 0 0.707. And then let's just change it to make sure that it's the, uh, the same color here. So we'll change that to that as well. So let's go ahead and copy this graph. So let's take a look at this graph here. So what we can say here is that since we know that the secant x is never 0, we see that f prime of x when it's equal to 0 is when tangent x is equal to 1. And this occurs when x is equal to n pi plus pi over 4 or when n is an integer. 